My name is Gita Jensen, and I am the research director at NIS Labs. My background is in immunology and systems biology with a focus on natural products research. I would like to talk about our research on the effects of a novel plant extract on human skin health. A plant called Nerium oleander has many different uses in traditional medicine. It is known to contain compounds that can be toxic, but extracts of this plant have been made for centuries to obtain the beneficial phytochemicals and to reduce or remove toxins. A unique extract of Nerium oleander was made using the juice from the plant aloe vera and is currently used in skin care. We call this Nerium aloe extract or NAE8. We studied this extract in our laboratory for its ability to protect human skin and immune cells from free radical damage at the cellular level. The skin is a dynamic tissue. It contains a fine network of microscopic blood vessels that not only help distribute nutrients, but also help perform immune surveillance in the skin. Therefore, when we research the biological effects of a natural product on human skin, it's relevant to study skin cells and also study immune cells from the blood circulation. The aging process of otherwise healthy skin is accelerated by many factors. Stress in the skin tissue can be caused by free rad radicals, UV radiation from the sun and environmental pollution. These are all factors that contribute to the premature aging of the skin. In our lab tests, NAE8 provided a better cellular antioxidant protection than a control aqueous extract or crude aloe juice alone. This data shows that compounds in NAE8 entered into living cells and protected them from the inside out when the cells were exposed to free radicals. This graph shows protection of intracellular reduced glutathione, which is one of the key antioxidant systems inside our cells. NAE8 showed further protection from free radical stress in several other tests. This graph shows the protection of cellular viability in a test where we treated the cells with hydrogen peroxide to mimic UV damage. This graph shows the prevention of free radical production by inflammatory cells, where we measured the intracellular levels of reactive oxygen species. Of special interest for skin health, we showed that when skin cells were treated with NAE8, the cells produced the chemokine CXCL11. This effect was not seen for the control extract or for aloe juice alone. This may be important for the skin growth involved in wound healing. In summary, our data showed that NAE8 demonstrates properties that are beneficial to skin health, including antioxidant and anti-inflammatory activity. The true uniqueness of NAE8 lies in the multiple mechanisms of action and multiple levels of beneficial activity that are of relevance when NAE8 is applied topically to the skin. The dual effect on skin cells and immune cells is promising for NAE8 as a topical anti-aging natural product.